going into Las Vegas to became a two-race shootout for the championship. It all came down to this. Four cars, eight rounds, one winner. Round two, Tony Schumacher's day ended when he smoked the tires and lost to Morgan Lucas. Doug Coletta, fresh off his win in Virginia, then eliminated Larry Dixon. Brandon Bernstein was the first title contender to advance to round three when he beat Melanie Troxel. Rod Fuller then faced David Baca, and when David smoked the tires, Hot Rod sailed into the semifinals. Brandon and Rod had a great chance to distance themselves from the other two contenders in the semifinals. But only Rod took advantage of the opportunity when he beat Morgan Lucas. Brandon's day ended when he smoked the tires against Doug Coletta, and like Larry and Tony, his day was over. The final round featured Rod and Doug, and it was a great run. The Caterpillar car, which had won the Tevnico shootout on Saturday, won the race on Sunday, got the $50,000 double-up bonus and the points lead, and that's a pretty good weekend for the hometown guy. I think I'm going to go buy my dream car tomorrow. You know, uh, somebody told me at uh, Richmond, they said, uh, you're like Cinderella Fuller, and uh, it just struck midnight. And I said, you know what? Good thing I live on the West Coast because it ain't midnight yet there. A look at the point shows that Rod was in the driver's seat, so to speak, as the four top fuel contenders headed for Pomona to decide the 2007 Powerade Championship. The top fuel drama started early when Rod Fuller struggled in qualifying on Thursday and Friday. He improved on Saturday, but just slightly, and he finished in 11th place, and that earned him a round one match with Bob Vandergriff. Rod's qualifying troubles returned in round one, and when he smoked the tires, his run and his title chances appeared to literally go up in smoke. Since Larry, Brandon, and Tony had all won their opening round matches, all of a sudden it looked like the points lead of Rod's was anything but safe. You can't stumble in this thing. You can't have any mistakes. You can't have any driver errors. You can't have any car errors. You can't have any mechanical errors. If you have any of those things, you're out. Brandon was first up in round two, and he made a good run against David Grubnick. And now, Brandon Bernstein started to think championship. Tony Schumacher then took to the track, and he lowered the boom on Morgan Lucas and advanced to the semifinals where he would meet Mr. Bernstein. J.R. Todd, who had run lower laps time of the day in round one, came back with another great pass against Larry Dixon, a winning run that ended Larry's title hopes. And all along, Rod Fuller could do nothing but sit and wait and hope. Going into the semifinals, the situation was clear. Brandon Bernstein beat Tony Schumacher. He would be the champion. If Tony won, Rod would still have the lead. And the championship would come down to the final round of the final race. Well, this is it. Championship's on the line. You gotta do what you gotta do. Hopefully we get it done. The two young drivers had a good race, with Tony taking another huge win and ending Brandon's day. Countdown to one was down to one. And so the championship continues on, and it'll go to the finals. Alan Johnson and the Army team have been there before, and now to win the title, they had to do it again. They had to beat Bob Vandergriff, and the man who was in his 12th final round and still looking for that first win. And just like he did a year earlier, Tony was flawless in the final round. When he needed it the most, he made the quickest run of the entire weekend. And that was all he needed to win the round, the race, and the championship again. And for Rod Fuller, a good season. No, a great season ended in just 4.48 seconds. We said you have to go out and win the race, and how Rod's going to have to go out early. Alan Johnson and that Army team, they're the best in the world. I am so proud and honored to be able to drive for them. Don't know what it ran, don't care. It was awesome. Good enough. Awesome! Yeah! 2007. What an exciting and emotional year. 23 races, hundreds of rounds, lots of upsets, thrilling wins, and heartbreaking defeats. In the end, with the new countdown format, all of the championships were decided at the last race of the year, and two of them on the final round. Amazing. And now, all that remained was to officially crown the champions at the NHRA Powerade Awards ceremony, and then get ready for the countdown to 2008.